Hi friends, Missy Lane here with another book for our summer series. A little while ago, we read a book called W is for Waves. Today, I'd like to read you a story that is called S is for Sea Glass, and it's a beach alphabet. So we're gonna go all the way through the alphabet from A to Z and talk about things that we would see or that we would do at the beach. So if you've ever been to the beach for vacation, you may be able to relate to a lot of, or if not all, of the things in this book. It's a little bit longer. There are poems for each letter. So a poem takes up each page. But I really think, at least I hope, that you'll enjoy it. A is for angel. When we're at the seashore, the first thing I've planned is to lie really flat with my back in the sand. I'll hold my arms close and then I'll stretch them out wide, sliding up overhead and then back down to my side. I'll sweep my legs outward, then swing them back straight, like I'm opening and closing a fairy tale gate. And when I stand up, mom will say that she sees the sand robes and wings of the angel in me. So I've made an angel in the snow before, but I've never tried making an angel in the sand. Have you? That might be something fun to try out. B is for boardwalk. I'm walking with dad down the boardwalk. Look, a mime and a girl on guitar. We stop at the snack shack for blackjacks and a t-shirt that says where we are. This sign points toward ice cream. That line's for the potty. The sun is beginning to set. We've walked down the boardwalk each day of this week, but we haven't reached the beach yet. So much to do on a beach boardwalk, isn't there? Things to do, things to see, things to eat, yummy treats. C is for castle. I've built a grand castle with turrets and towers and parapets, arrow slits, keeps, and a moat. I've battled the seagulls and land crabs for hours. The coastline is littered with seaweed I smote. Even the big kids have come to pay tribute. My name is known far and my fame has spread wide. But the end is at hand for my kingdom of sand. Alas, nothing can save us from waves at high tide. Have you ever done that? Have you ever built a really spectacular sand castle? But then what happens? Eventually, those waves from the ocean are going to come along and are going to tear it down, huh? Then it's just time to make a new one. D is for dog. Off my leash, running up the beach, wet sand in my fur, sniff the salt air, chase a seagull, stop, pee, smell, a ball near the water's edge, I'll fetch it, a stick in the waves, quick, I'll save it. Dive into the surf, woof, woof, woof. Paddle too far, back to shore. Find someone dry, shake off nearby. Off my leash, running down the beach. There's my boy, pure joy. E is for empty shells. You find us lying on the beach and think we're just some empty shells but we each have our stories to tell. We were once clams. Happy? You bet. Till someone showed up with a net. If you display your shells with pride, remember mollusks lived inside before we all died, steamed or fried. F is for flip-flops. Winter is buckles and shoehorns and laces and wingtips, galoshes and high tops but summer is giggles and smiling faces and wiggling our toes in flip-flops. G is for gull. You call us scavengers, unclean, because we eat the rinds and scraps left over from your fine cuisine. Are gulls duller than you? Perhaps. We've never called ourselves refined, and true, we have an awful screech, but gulls don't leave their trash behind. It's not we who litter the beach. H is for horizon. 
Where does the sea stop and the sky begin? Where does the sun rise when the dawn slips in? Where does the ship sail when its sails disappear? Is it under the ocean? Is it up in the air? If I travel the world or stay here on this beach, the horizon will always be just beyond reach. But it's real as my dreams and it's always nearby. That magical line where the sea meets the sky. I is for ice. I've never been here into the winter before. Waves like waders keep bringing ice cubes to the shore, which looks like a magical ice castle floor of diamonds that shimmer and crystals that glisten. And when the wind blows, I can hear it if I listen. The king who keeps roaring for more ice and more. Did you ever really listen closely and kind of hear the whistle of the wind? I even hear the wind blowing sometimes. So this little girl and her dog are visiting the beach in the winter time when it's really, really cold and that wind is blowing off the, uh, the ocean onto the shore. J is for jellyfish. My colors are iridescent, like jewels befit for a king. If the light hits just right, I will sparkle like a diamond and set on a ring. But yell out my name and folks swim for the shore because jellyfish means just one thing, my sting. I don't know if you've ever been stung by a jellyfish before, my friends. It doesn't feel so great. It definitely does give you a little bite, a little sting. K is for kite. Today we've gone fishing. Dad's excited, so am I. He's angling in the ocean. Me, I'm fishing in the sky. Dad cast his line. Hours have passed. He hasn't had one bite. I feel a sharp tug on my string. Hooray! I've caught a kite. My catch is big and colorful and trails a bow-tied tail. My dad is packing up his bait, his hooks, his rod and reel. When I get home, I'll show my prize and put it on display. When dad gets home, he'll tell tall tales of fish that got away. Dad didn't come home with anything, right? But he came home with a kite. His kite is in the shape of a fish. So he was fishing in the sky, wasn't he? L is for lighthouse. I don't want to be president and live inside the White House. I'd rather be the resident key keeper of this lighthouse. Mom's happy she's a doctor. And my dad, he loves to teach. But me, when I grow up, I never want to leave the beach. M is for mosquito. Mom says God never makes mistakes. Slap, clap. Stuff happens for a reason. The sun, slap. Shines, the surf, clap. Breaks. I'm happy every summer season. Smack, whack. I wonder, even so, why thwack. God made the mosquito. Mosqu mosquitoes are kind of pesky creatures, aren't they? They bite and then we eat or we itch. And sometimes there are a lot of mosquitoes at the beach. We are halfway through the alphabet already, aren't we? We went from A to M. What comes next? After M comes N. That's right, N and O. N is for Nautilus. We lived upon the ocean floor before the age of the dinosaur. Yet we've survived, we're doing fine due to our shell's spiral design. O is for ocean. Oh, this is my ode to the ocean, which flows over most of the earth. Like water that's set into motion, life cycles of death and rebirth. Oh, the ocean is full of emotion. What are waves but its hopes and its fears? Where a crash has just been, new waves always begin. So let us give praise to the ocean. It's deep as our dreams and saline as our tears. Now come, dears, it's time to dive in. P is for pale. Yellow birds on sand, 
Stay still when I approach. Oh, my shovel and pail. Q is for quiet. The sun as it's rising, the drift of a cloud, spiders spinning webs, crabs scuttling across the ocean floor, the swimming of fishes, the wishing of wishes, the opening of a door, the thoughts in my head. These are things I can hear when it's quiet as I lie here in bed. R is for rain. Sometimes it does rain at the beach too, doesn't it? Nobody's at the beach today. Most everyone's complaining. The sky is dark, the clouds are thick, and I, the rain, am raining. Folks let waves splash them head to toe. Do you hear any whining? No. They think it's fun to get wet when their friend the sun is shining. I cool the breeze, and I fill the seas. Who's not a rainbow lover? So why, when I come out to play, do they all run for cover? That's kind of true, isn't it, boys and girls? I never really thought about that. We don't mind splashing and playing at the pool or at the beach, but why do we mind when it rains? Everybody kind of just runs for cover, right, and says, oh no, where's my umbrella? I wonder why. S is for sea glass. This gift from the ocean was tossed and it tumbled till weathered by swell waves, it crossed the wide waters and braved the high seas. It once was a fruit jar or maybe a king's cup or medicine bottle that saved a young princess or perhaps a pirate once flung his decanter from off the gangplank and 90 years later, it washed up here beachside and sparkled like jewelry, a gift just for me. Sometimes you can find beautiful pieces of sea glass and some people have made some beautiful pieces of jewelry and different types of things from the glass that they find at the beach. But did you ever wonder where that glass came from? T is for tide. Each day the tide's high and each day the tide's low. The world's full of mysteries that we'll never know. The moon orbits Earth and the tides are affected. No matter its form, all matters connected. As sure as it ebbs, the tide also rises. And each day, the world is full of surprises. U is for umbrella. Come visit my umbrella garden. It blooms every day in the sun. Among many multi-striped parasols, I've planted some polka dot fun. The soil is best dry and sandy with just a slight tropical breeze. When conditions are right, my garden grows bright with colorful, shady beech trees. When all those umbrellas are set up on the beach, it does sometimes look like a garden, right? Like a garden, instead of a garden of flowers, you have a garden of umbrellas. V is for vacation. Mom says we need some relaxation. Time for family vacation. Into the car, drive too far, unpack, search for a snack, find a friend, dead end, no TV, sightsee, dog fed, late to bed, wake too early, dad surly, neighbors loud, big beach crowd, insect bites, see more sights. We had a family vacation. Now mom needs some relaxation. Sometimes moms and dads need a vacation after vacation. A vacation from vacation. Okay, we're almost near the end of the alphabet. We have W, X, Y, and Z. What do you think W stands for? That's right, W is for wave. Away from the wind. Water always behaves, but when they play together, they're mischievous knaves. They crash things and smash things. They tumble and rumble. They storm and they love to make waves. X is for X marks the spot. What to do? 
nothing is planned. But here's a stick and plenty of sand. I'll be X, you can be O. I challenge you to tic-tac-toe. Have you played that game before? You try to get three in a row, three X's or three O's, and whoever gets three first is the winner. Tic-tac-toe is fun to play on paper or in the sand. Y is for year-rounders. It's exciting when the crowds come and our sleepy town awakes. All the roads are full of sightseers and sidewalks filled with jugglers and the beaches burst with tourists eating ice cream, having picnics. There are parties, celebrations, and fun brand new friends to play with. And I get to stay up late sometimes and hang out with the big kids. But sometimes I get real tired, though I don't tell anybody. And I like it when the crowds leave and it's quiet near the seashore where I'm walking with my family through the town that we call home. You know, we usually think of visiting the beach, don't we? If we live here in Pittsburgh, in Bethel Park, we don't live near a beach. So when we go to the beach, it's a vacation. But some people live at the beach. Their home is very near a beach. So they can call it home and they can visit it all year round, can't they? Z is for Z's or Z's on the beach. I'm feeling amazingly lazy. Been choosing to snooze in the sun. Dad says we should play catch, swim, exercise, toss frisbees, or go for a run. But days that are blazing and hazy, I'd rather just catch a sea breeze. So I think I'll just finish up my pizza and cozy back down for some Z's. That's kind of my idea of a day at the beach. Huh? Just taking a snooze on my beach towel, eating some pizza for lunch. I think he's got it right. And that's the end from A to Z. All those things that we can see and that we can do and that we can experience at the beach. I hope you enjoyed that book. I don't know if I Mention the author and illustrator. There are some beautiful pictures in there. Uh, the poems were written by Richard Mickelson, and they were illustrated by Doris Etlinger. I hope you enjoyed that story. You know where you can come find some more beach stories, right? Where do you go to check out books? Come visit us at the Bethel Park Public Library. We look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.